Hey there, Andrew. I am going to make you your own personalized video here. I'm in my clinic actually, and I have to refill my uh, massage oil bottle here. So um, I use this in my clinic for uh, my patients when obviously I'm working on, like I give them massages to a massage therapist. So anyways, when they have sore areas to help reduce inflammation, soreness, that sort of thing. So it's very similar to the Sore No More blend. Um, you're gonna use the same um, sequence or the same you know, steps just in either that serum bottle I gave you. Obviously, this is a bigger bottle, so I need more drops of oil. Um, you can make your roller bottles as strong um, or as diluted as you know how it like it individually feels for you so usually the drop the number of drops i sent you is um average if you feel that it's too strong just don't add in as many drops of the essential oil uh and you'll just add in more i i get this fractionated coconut oil from amazon uh and so you can use that. Um, Young Living has their own um, fractionated oil you can get too. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's a blend of um, a bunch of different oils like almond oil, sesame oil, all that sort of thing. So it, it's very uh, nutrient rich and really great for the skin. So just up to you. Um, if you have Trader Joe's like actual coconut oil, it's gonna be hard, um, especially this time of year. So it's a little harder to get into these tiny mouths of the bottles. So that's why I use the fractionated oil, um, almond oil, olive oil work too. It just, you know, olive oil will go, sometimes goes bad quickly and then it has that rancid type smell and obviously you don't want to put rancid oil with the essential oils because it'll ruin their scent so i'm going to show you how to make the the bottles really fast here so um, that's the yoga wall if you ever want to come hang out and get some traction for the spine so you just take off the lid right here's pan away and um, just hold your bottle here and um, you just drop it in like that so i'm going to add in a bunch because this is a much bigger bottle but you can see the drops you just literally count them out um, to make your roller and then um, you know repeat with the other oils mentioned and then you just squirt in the 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 um, fractionated coconut oil and that's it that's how you use it so as as I mentioned um, some oils you can use neat which just means that um, you're not adding the diluted factor. So let's say I had pain in my neck right now. Um, I can take a drop of the pan away and then just rub it in my hands and rub it on my neck and I can tolerate because I've been using the oils for a while. Feels really good. Um, but as you felt with the Christmas spirit, sometimes that can be a bit much and strong. So whenever starting, and especially as a yoga teacher, with you just have so many students in your class and a lot of times, um, you know, the, you, you just don't know them and their sensitivities. I always only touch people with the oils, um, or I never touch people with the oils. I only have the oils on my hands. Um, so what I usually do a lot of the times in Shavasana is, let's say, for example, I, I had that roller. Uh, I would roll it on my palms and then I hover over their noses for them to breathe in Shavasana. Um, or like I take a drop of lavender and I put it in my palm and I hover over their noses in Shavasana. Um, I also have what I do in the hot classes the students really love. Um, as I have a spritzer bottle like this, I can always give you one if you want. Um, this is my yoga mat spray, which is actually Thieves, um, the lemon, and uh, a little witch hazel, which helps the oil disperse with uh, filtered water. I just put filtered water the rest of the way, and it's a non-toxic yoga mat cleaner instead of those wipes, which have all those disgusting chemicals in it. Anyways, another little <laughs> tip for you. But um, so in the hot classes, I have this size bottle with about uh, 15... 10 to 15 drops of peppermint oil in it and then I fill the rest of the way with filtered water and I spritz their spritz their bodies um, at the end of the hot class when they're in Shavasana and I always give them the option to opt out so I say I'm going to walk around with some cooling peppermint mist to cool your 
um, lower your core temperature, send you to a deeper resting space. If you want me to skip you, place a hand over your belly, that sort of thing. And I mean, rarely I'll get someone that opts out, but uh, on occasion I do. And I spritz most of their torso versus their face because feel it on yourself first. Again, peppermint can be one of those hot oils, which can be strong. So um, people usually like it and with the water, it's pretty diluted, but some people like have sensitive skin so they can feel that a little bit. So I, I don't really spray their faces, just more their torsos or where they have clothes because um, they really like the scent. So that's something you can do too. So hopefully this gives you some ideas to help you get started. And I, I you should be getting emails too with some instructions. So let me know if you're getting those. And then I'm here for questions at any time and I'll try to leave you alone now so you can absorb all that information. But uh, just let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you, okay? Uh, Happy New Year, friend. Bye.